Okay, AA guns, not a bad idea. Stick them on the front, ready to go. And infrastructure is always good. Oh, yeah, okay. Yep, let's put some more of those on. And let's go and take a look at the situation with rubber, because I think that's going to be an issue, right? Tungsten is definitely an issue at this point, so I'm going to go to Sweden, and I'm going to take another one, please. Oh, shit, no, I didn't want to do that. That was, that was a misclick. Uh, we're getting rubber from... We're not getting rubber from anyone, so I'm amazed that we don't have a shortage of that. That is, that is incredible. That is incredible that we don't have a shortage of rubber, but I, I will take that. That's, that's a small win. So what have we got here? We've got faction members justifying war goals. Uh, Italy is justifying against Switzerland. Okay, I don't think I've ever seen that before. That seems a little unusual. We don't need to care about the ace pilot promoted. We have three military factories. Now we do need to care about this. What have we got in the way of... We've got some naval bombers coming on. Excellent. Excellent. I can just, I can say everything is going along as planned quite nicely. Uh, we need more artillery. Are we okay for trains? Let's take a look at this. Shortage of medium tanks, but we are catching up on, on that quite fast. Um, I may as well stockpile guns. Yeah, let's stockpile guns. We have loads of steel, so there's no issues with that. And let's see ourselves. We are losing submarines. Um, what else have we got? Okay, you guys... Oh, you guys should be going in there? I know why that is. I know why that is. Let's just change that. So we've got... Um, they want to go into the German Reich F Reserve Fleet 3. Which is the big one up there, so they can all be trained. And at the moment, we're not building any more convoys. And the reason for that is that we are using them to repair subs. Okay. That's fine. We need to get more dockyards, clearly. Right then, German destroyers. Those guys are all trained up nicely, in fact. So let's put them in there. And then split them in half. And again, and put them on convoy escort instead. Cool. And how are we doing for submarines here? One, two, three, four. We don't know. We don't need to go insane. In fact, I'm going to keep it to five, I think. Have you got ten? Yeah, it's okay. We have. I thought some had been sunk. I'm going to keep it to five in a group. I think that's the right amount. And we, we're covering areas. We're struggling with this one, but this is in the deep sea, so. But we are nobbling convoys, which is the main thing. That is good news. Well done. Well done. In fact, we're going to go over into this and we're going to give our boys a hand. This is the convoy interdiction. So let's spend 100 XP on that. That's the one we're going to focus on first. We're going to try and get the all the submarine stuff as much as we can. And that makes our submarines even more effective, which means we get more experience, which we can boost that faster. You see where I'm going? Yep, it's, it's going to be good. Uh, fighter aces or air superiority. I'll take that one. And we can take the next one as well. Air support mission efficiency. So our air force. The air force is one that's always easy to level up really quickly. And it does go fast, which is, which is excellent. Absolutely excellent. Right. Good. So are we ready to capitulate Belgium then? I think we probably are. What's the planning bonus of this? Right, let's go for it. Uh, declare war. So we're going to send that guy over the top. And we're going to send the Panzer Divisions in as well. And we're going to try and... We're going to try and cut off. We're going to go like that, but they're going to instantly join the Allies. Uh, but that's all right. And then France is going to be in a real state in a minute. Cool. Let's make sure we get four divisions in there crushing that lot. Uh, we're in a bit of a state for supplies there. 
Yeah, here come the French. Uh, we've got two divisions there, which could be supporting that one. The mine four speed. Yeah, I thought that was going a little bit quickly. We don't need to be going like that. Let's get to Dunkirk. <laughs> we can go straight across there now, which is which is cool. We're going to leave Luxembourg because that's going to be the hole in the French line when we need to get behind it. This is all part of the plan, the grand scheme of things. Uh, and let's get the light tanks in because these guys can actually come in and support now. And the motorised and the cavalry, well, I mean, we may as well pop them in there. Uh, Hungary seeks mediation. With the situation in the Balkans quickly moving towards all-out warfare, Hungary has decided to ask for mediation of the Transylvanian dispute. They have approached us to request that we sit on the commission to decide the fate of Transylvania. We will gladly do so. Well, I mean, they're in our faction, so it'd be kind of rude not to, wouldn't it? Right. This is great. We want the French to occupy a line across here, if we can. And then we're going to take the airport at Calais, because we should. And meanwhile... Um, did I really want that? I don't think I wanted that. I kind of wanted... We want that one to go that way. Right, stop. We're not going to get the airport at Calais. Not, not like that. For a start, we don't have a, a plan for that one. But we do... Oh, we can do this. Hang on. Hang on. We can do this. Right, we can just stop that. And the next plan. Should we do should we do these in short steps? We'll do this. And then if it goes well, we'll do Ah no, halt. <laughs> I should have had that pressed. If that goes well, we will do that one as well. I like drawing second lines and stuff. It's, it's fun. I love the planning of this game. I don't often use such things, but I still think it's fun to do. So, has Italy got involved? If it has, we're just sitting on the fence there. Oh, we need to check out um, our naval invasion up here. This plans to be to our disadvantage, does it? Well, not necessarily, because what we're going to do is we're going to bring out the big fleet very briefly... And we're going to put it on support and naval invasion. And we're going to put it in there. And we're going to trigger this. And let's hope... That was the right one, wasn't it? That was the right officer. There's that Army 9? That's Army 6. Right, hang on. That's the wrong one. I just saw the red one and I thought, that's the guy we want. This is the one we want. And it's not ready yet. So that's that's absolutely fine. <laughs> right, so we got stuff down here. Uh, did we get the tanks in? We did get the tanks in. Excellent. We have... There should be some more tanks somewhere. Right, let's move across there. We'll get the medium tanks going in. And let's push in like that. And then go like that. And let's get these guys cut off over here. And then into Lille. Can we get the, can we get the light tanks moving through here? This is what we kind of wanted them for. Charge to Dieppe. A mad charge to Dieppe, I, I hasten to add. But let's, let's charge it anyway. Yeah, what I wanted was for those guys to go there. Cut these divisions off. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Let's crush this. No, let's do that one. It's that guy I want. So yeah, the light tanks rushing like mad. This is why light tanks are still useful. Well, certainly early on in the year. We have no divisions in basic training. Ooh. Oh, excellent. You can go and join Rommel's forces. And these chaps can go and join this guy, but also get yourselves railroaded over to here. There's a bit of a supply issue there, so I don't really want to put them all in there. Right, this is the one. We're going in. I'm, I'm, this is the dangerous bit because I'm looking at two things at once now. 
And so, we're just going to wait. France is in a bit of a mess. Let's, let's capitulate these two over here. That's excellent. We get the front line sorted out. Do you know what? I think we can probably push that through to Paris. Where's the rest of... Where's the rest of those tanks? There should be some more medium tanks there. No, I want to go through that way. <laughs> well, the plan of going through Luxembourg is... It feels like kind of... Kind of moot now, so... Declare war. And then this army... Trigger that. And then we've aligned Romania. So we need to invite them to the faction. And then we click on that later. We've got a couple of years to do that, so it's fine. Excellent. I feel like I can probably take that research slot now. Yeah, let's take the research slot now. Nice. And then we need to I can invite to faction. Send. We'll get Romania in the faction. That gives us a huge chunk of everything over there. That's going to be cool. And then Yugoslavia uh, is going to be one of our next focuses after this. So let me see. Division still preparing. You are going, aren't you? I don't see anything happening over here. Do we not have... We maybe don't have permission to go in that sea. That might be the thing. That might be the thing. This is a funny one, isn't it? Can we... Past these straits. France has called Luxembourg as our enemy. <laughs> I'll come back to that in a minute, because what we need to do here is sort this mess out. Uh, we should be piling through to Paris. Let's trigger this attack now. And those guys should be going through as well. I don't really want to be attacking Mets. I want to be going around Mets if we can. Uh, let's go this way and then that way. Because Mets is a sodden great big fortress. I have no intention of wishing to actually fight. Right, let's see. What's going on over here? I better be careful because this might suddenly trigger by itself. I, I do think... Yeah, we'll establish Vichy France. So we're going to do the historical route. So it's capitulated. Excellent. So that, that is the thing. Right, now I think we need to worry about um, Norway because I think I've set it to go off from a naval invasion that I can't do. I think I should have done it from this side. Uh, I don't know if that makes a difference, actually. I'm not sure if that port is on the wrong side of this strait. It could be. It could be. It's not going, regardless. So what we're going to do is that. Hang on, let's just... I'm going to do this a bit differently. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's the right amount. So we're going to try... We're going to plan this again. In fact, no, we're not. We're going to do that. And we're going to try and do this a bit quicker. So we're going to land like this. And then uh, we're going to take another five. Those guys should should start disappearing. The flight of Rudolf Hess. Okay, Rudolf Hess was basically flown to Scotland, I think. He was arrested by Home Guard soldiers in Scotland yesterday after parachuting from a heavy fighter. An accomplished pilot, he apparently flew alone across the North Sea. Nobody knows why. British authorities have not been available for comment. Well, he's gone, so that's cool. Right, so Free France has given us all that stuff. Give me these here. And we're going to do the same from the same port, which is fine. Uh, but we're going to try and land here and here. I wonder if I should just go, f just, just ignore this bit altogether, because this could be a problem. Yeah, let, let's, uh, let's not do this. Let's do it there. So it's the same orders, but it should not take as long to do. It's going to take 35 days. We'll try it. 
there is a, this is a funny sea zone and I, I think I might have triggered it from the wrong port. So we'll see if that is the issue. Right then, so what have we got over here? We do not need this force on here anymore. What we need to do... Uh, Vichy France. So let's see what their status is with us. They're in the war against Britain and everyone else. So we can actually... We can actually go and get involved. We should send an Africa Corps out, I think. There's nothing going on here. There's a tiny bit. Hang on a sec. That's brutal. All right. Yeah, that's that's going to be bad. The poor British division trapped down there. Uh, and at that point, we also need to recruit some more of these. These are going to be the guys who defend our ports for us. So let's also click on that. And set this order up across here. Because now suddenly we have a much bigger chunk of coastline to defend. And defend it we shall. So we... I'm also going to include the French ports on this. Because they can be obviously invaded by the Allies. And they are a weakness. You'll notice I'm not including the Italian ports. But I think I probably should. Yeah. I think I probably should. We're going to add these in because I do not trust my allies to hold this. And this should tell me I need 42 divisions. And I'll, I'll accept that. You should never trust your allies in this game. It's, it's always, always a risky prospect. Right, so I think I can't see any of Italy that I've got there. So I think that's everything. We'll put that on as well. So that's going to be 58 divisions. So that's that's enough. Should I just get as many? I need another uh, 24, uh, 34. I need 34 to make sure that's all covered. We'll put a couple of extra in to make sure we're done. Right, so fuel's going to be a bit of an issue now. Let's see. Fuel is a bit of an issue. We can take some more from the Kingdom of Romania. And let's just check my faction here. So we're in a faction with Italy, Romania. Okay, it is what I thought it is. Cool. Who's in charge there? He's still in charge. <laughs> I don't think he's going to be for long. Excellent. What have we got then? We've got uh, expeditionary force request. I don't want that. Join wars from Italy. Yep, let's accept that. And lend lease. Uh, decline. I don't want any lend lease from puppets because they'll eventually go independent. So Norway needs an ass kicking. It might be that we need to invade further north to avoid this, this issue around here. So you'll see our submarines are now doing a lot better. We took a kicking from the French Navy there, which is a shame. And we need to reinforce the sub fleets. Are you not engaged? They've got orders too, so that's okay. Right, let's see. Yep, we need a couple over there. Let's just break away anyone that needs repairing. Just, just sod off and repair. Nice. Right, so I need two in that guy. And then we need one just over there, just to keep them topped up. I could put more in. I maybe should. We'll, we'll keep it easy for now. Just because of the issues with uh, keeping everyone supplied. You guys are good to go and join into that one. And I will make sure you are on convoy escort as well. So, nice. Now, we're going to have issues in the Mediterranean. There's definitely going to be problems in there at some point. I do need to try and help. Just escort our allies' convoys, I suppose. I'm going to put these in. And do you know what? I'm going to add in... I am going to add these in for the subs. This this could be a problem. I don't know if they can get in. Actually, they... We're not at war with Spain, but we are at war with Britain. So I don't know, I don't know if they'll be able to pass there. I'm going to click on that anyway. Do you know what else we need to do? 
Let's go over to... Where's Berlin? We need to look at our air force and see what we've got spare. And we were going to create some naval bombers, weren't we? Nice. So let's get these guys trained up. Let me just make sure I don't have any wings of anything that I'm not expecting. We only have the one of those. We have a lot of we have a lot of um, tactical bombers out there. Cool, we'll get the guys trained. We do need air force over here though. What have I got? I must have some fighters somewhere. Give me two. And we're going to put them... Uh, let's have a look. That'll do. We're also going to... Actually, we're going to need some more fighters. So let me... Uh, let me recruit a job lot, in fact. I would like... Do we have any? That's the question. I mean, they've been in combat, so... Do we have any of the good ones? Are we down? Oh, no, we do. We do. We don't have a lot. But we have some. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Do we have any that aren't needed elsewhere, perhaps? I've got 200 over there. What's in this one? They're over Western Germany. Uh, I mean, what are we facing over here? Not an awful lot. Okay, that's good. We also need to build some radar in there. Oh, hang on. We need, we need radar all along the coast now because... Because... Um, of that and we would like some on there as well so we've got a lot of lot of requests going in if that goes green instantly and it's gone yellow and i i suspect i don't think we need 200 there i'm going to take although we're taking casualties so maybe maybe we do let's make sure we've got that covered and one thing i could do is put some over the channel i don't feel like we're just ready for that just yet not just yet. We've got new planes coming on. We have... We could do new radar. In 1940. Oh, obviously I could do with this. Yeah, let's get that. We've got a new, new fighter about to come online, which is great. Soviet-German trade agreement. The Soviet ambassador has contacted our diplomats proposing a trade agreement between our countries. According to the proposal, the Soviet Union will send us raw materials such as grain, cotton, oil, metal ores and rubber. In exchange, the Soviets will receive an incomplete... Hipper class cruiser, plans for the military vessels, heavy naval guns, and samples of German aircraft. This agreement will undoubtedly help us in the war effort against the hostile nations in Europe, allowing us to find the means to evade the British blockade. We are in need of most of those. So the Soviet Union are going to get the basic heavy cruiser, which we honestly don't care about. They're going to add a production line of Kirov class, which I'm guessing is heavy cruisers, and a research bonus for aircraft. And stronger relations. Uh, do you know what? That sounds like a fair deal at the moment. I don't have any reason not to go for that. Yes, we're going to invade them later. But right now, we don't need to worry about that. So, what we do need to worry about, though, is, I think, getting, uh, let's say, Rommel over here. Because we're facing, or our allies are facing a bit of trouble. So, I'm going to create a fallback fall back line into Brook and he's going to automatically transport himself there like that. And now that also means that we should have some spare troops over here that aren't doing anything. Yeah, these guys right. on this border here where we have we have 20 divisions that's not needed um, we could instantly, yeah I'm going to do the same I'm going to put fall back line into Brook and they're going to they're gonna railroad there. And that means I can then put them on the front line. I don't want to directly put them on the front line because they'll arrive in terrible condition in dribs and drabs. Maybe go to the wrong port. So uh, we're going to keep control of them. I think I'm going to go for the naval bombers. Uh, also, let's change that. So we've got new fighters coming on now. They'll be slightly more expensive to produce, which is a shame, but... Um, I've just realized I don't think I have put any more heavy fighters out and I suspect we're going to have enough for another wing. Excellent. Put them on pilot exercises. Very good. We have air wings with no region assigned. We do. What I could do is put them over here 
Right, okay, I need to... Uh, I need to safely consider my options here because I would like to start bombing the channel. I could start bombing the North Sea. I don't know if we'll find anything in there. If I start bombing the channel, there's a risk, a big risk. We're going to get caught out by a load of British fighters. Far better, I think, to actually put them over here. Uh, there isn't any space. There's space there. But they should have the range to do this. Okay, we'll put them there. We're going to have other planes as well, are we? Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, everyone else is doing their thing. It's fine. It's fine. The question of Yugoslavia. We now stand supreme in Europe. France was long the foundation of stability in southeastern Europe. But now the entire area is up for grabs. We can pull all the nations there in our orbit with no one left to stop us. It's time to tell the Yugoslavians that they have to make a choice. Either they stand with us or they'll be swept away. So German pressure. And what I should have done maybe is put a army or two on that border with them. Give me... Tell you what these will do. This guy, these aren't actually what I consider to be combat troops, so... Uh, that's going to be a hell of a big border, isn't it? Right, we'll not do the full thing. We'll do it like that. And uh, we do have other troops available. Yeah, let's, let's do these guys. Let's do these guys on here. I like the sinister music. It sounds like it's from an Indiana Jones movie when the when he's going into one of the Nazis' castles. Last Crusade. You know the one I mean. Uh, and you guys, you also could do with going on here, I think. What about Bulgaria? We haven't looked at Bulgaria yet, have we? We haven't done anything with Bulgaria. What's the status of Bulgaria? Invite to faction. They're not in a position to uh, say yes or no to that at the moment. Right, we've got loads of Toad Anti-Air coming up, which is excellent. Which makes me wonder, have I actually put them in a division? Have we actually got them in a division? They're not in there. They are in there. Okay, so they are in. I guess we just don't have everything assigned to it. Um, we have a bit of experience to spend. What I... They have logistics in there. Okay, excellent. That is useful. I guess anti-air is the next thing that we want in then. So let's let's put them in. And we probably want those in anything else where that's going to be a case as well. I don't think there is anything else. These two light tank divisions, I, I, I don't know what to do with them at the moment, if I'm honest. Let's have a look at this again. So we're, we're okay for most things. Medium tanks are catching up. We're short of medium tanks and just artillery. So just the usual stuff. The artillery just needs to catch up. That's okay. Uh, we can produce production of heavy fighters, naval bombers. Let's have five factories on each of those. The trains are doing okay. They're catching up now. The transport planes can just tick. Oh, we will want some more later. We will want some more later. So I'll put that up. And tactical bombers. I could put loads of those into the sky. <laughs> we could put loads of those into the sky. Let's use let's use Paris. In fact, fighters. They're the ones that we're kind of short of. So I'm going to do that. We have a stack of military factories at the moment, but not the resources. So I, we need to just be a little bit a little bit easy at this. Uh, we would like our bombers. Oh, I have a load of old stuff. That's why it's telling me I've got so many. So let's go for three. And these guys will start pilot exercising them as well. Cool. Okay. Fuel, resources, everything else. It seems to be looking an awful lot better. I'm happy to say. Have we got any guys over here who are ready, who's doing nothing? Mm, no. Uh, standing by, you should be training. And you will be training when you go in. Did I not have air wings with no missions? This will soon tell me. Right, you guys have got nothing on. Uh, are we still got... Um, 
Have we still got enemy bombers over here? We have. We are... Oh, we've got enemy fighters over here as well. Right, in that case then. Just a minute. Let me find them again. We've got enemy fighters over here. Let's make sure... ...that we're doing that. And... Radar. Radar is working. And I don't know what the idea behind this is, but let's make sure we've got some of those guys going up there as well. Radar's coming. We've got... Oh, we've got loads of stuff. Loads of stuff to build. Cool. Let's see if our armies have arrived down here into Brook. Not yet, but I'm sure they're on their way.